What happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, well, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other. Now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. Oh. Uh, this is bull. Grade A bull. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? I see it. I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. But it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. I am sure Caretaker's intentions came from a good place. Good intentions mean nothing when the outcome causes harm. She probably does not see it that way. I don't care how she sees it. Neither Caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says. Now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. Consider Caretaker and Stark know something we do not about Blaze. Oh, yeah? Like what? The Parchment of Power is known to have corrupting effects on its keeper. It twists his or her soul. And, well... Okay, I get it. Blaze is already a bit twisted, so the Parchment cannot twist him that much further. Exactly. It probably will not affect him as much as it would one of us. Blaze has the Parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. Hmm. Alright. And we go to our room. Wolverine is here. Oh my. You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though... He's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. You talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... planets? Yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, 
All you really care about is a nice soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah. Well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. Used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. And she grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse, Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Hunter, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. Oh, okay. I like Wolverine. I like how he's all gruff, but he's, you know, he's a nice guy. Seen a lot of carnivals go supernatural in my day, but today took the cake. Okay. I saw a listing for a four story. You go. What are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find the book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. Caretaker hid books on chaos magic for a reason. Well, someone ought to tell her books don't bite. Well, not all of them. I do have it on pretty good authority. The Sumerian Book of the Dead will take a chunk out of you if you try to earmark one of its pages. Well, <laughs> I hope you found what you were looking for. I did. There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called... <clears throat> the Scrolls of Cathon. Wait, that is another name for the... Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. Was this pharaoh's corruption ever purified? Hold up, I haven't gotten to that part of the story. 
So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian despotty self. Sounds like the best possible outcome was reached for everyone involved. Well, not for everyone. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No, but the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000-year-old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? Nico, that sounds too dangerous, even for you. I have to try something! Caretaker will not be pleased if she hears about this. Caretaker can deal. Well, I'm gonna find Magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Okay. Um... Things are gonna get crazy. Tony, I can't think about that now. The Sanctum wasn't just a home was a part of me. I know, I know. I just thought it might cheer you up. Hey, I heard about this crazy video online. A monkey riding a cat like it's a horse. <laughs> you want to take a look? No. I think you'd love it. Maybe they were enchanted. I said no, Tony. Don't you realize what I'm going through? My whole world has quite literally blown up. I just want to cheer you up, that's all. Hey, you want to curse me? No, 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 just kidding. I, don't, don't, don't curse me. Okay. Let's the carnival goers were YouTube. just trying to have a little good old-fashioned fun. Um... Let's watch a movie. What inspired you to toss your shield around? Did Tony put you up to this? No. Why? Well, he's been asking for years. So you will not tell me? I will, if you promise not to tell Tony. I will never tell. Okay. When I grew up in Brooklyn, I'd always see those old men playing bocce in the park. They could put all kinds of spin on those bocce balls. A few of them even taught me how to do it. So old men in the park taught you how to toss your shield? Yeah, in a way. And a few other things. Like what? To never back down. No matter how far behind you seem to be. Take a crystal ball. That's a decent way to spend time. Oh, wait, I was supposed to hang out with oh, you. Hunter, you here to yell at me, too? Oh, well. Hello? Are you having... They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower, or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? I understand why you did it. The fewer people who know about the parchment, the better. That's exactly right. When everyone operates on a need-to-know basis, they can focus. Is that how you are able to focus? Well, no, I need to know everything. Mm -hmm. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? 
Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. If you want to stop the prophecy over lunch, I think you will need a bigger lunch. Ah, well, I need to be careful not to eat too much, especially carbs. I just blow up and, uh, blow up. Huh. Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> I gotta get a sign. Alright. Hey, Robbie. Okay. Okay, Robbie. Just remember, you and Blaze are peers. You're legit. You're a Ghost Rider too. <laughs> ghost Rider too. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> okay. Oh, most sequels suck. Uh, okay. Just be cool. You got this. Morning, Blaze. Want to do some Spirit of Vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh man, I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. From what I understand about Blaze, he is not one for brotherhood. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't know I had an audience for my little self-pep talk. Just trying to hype myself up. If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes, from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? You do not want to follow in Blaze's footsteps. He does not seem like a role model for anyone. Really? He's always seemed like the best to me. I think the wisest thing to do would be to chart our own path. Look at me. I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I follow my moral compass and do what I believe is right, no matter what others say. What if you, you know, don't have a moral compass? Or your moral compass is a demon that lives in your head and isn't just a talking cricket? Then I suggest developing one of your own. Crickets are untrustworthy. Well, thanks for the heart-to-heart, -heart, or demon-to-demon, -demon. <laughs> or whatever. Y you've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. Hey. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off-grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super site is gonna go all squiggly. Perhaps there is a silver lining in his inability to be found. There is? Because I'd sure love to hear it. Think about it. If the great Captain Marvel cannot locate him, then Lilith does not stand a chance in hell of finding him either. Hmm, good point. But I'd still like to find him. If not for securing the parchment and preventing your mother's gothy Armageddon, then just for the principle of it. I don't like to lose. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. Do let me know when you find him. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You can't hide forever under whatever backwater rock you've crawled under. Not from me. What's up, Big H? I don't know if I... Hunter, hello. Shut your mouth. There it is. Okay. Alright. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it... <sighs> this isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? 
No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. I have been saying that since you woke me up. Leave the crappy stand-up for Tony, kiddo. There are bigger issues. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... No, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. If she were here, what do you think she would tell you to do? To stop being so stubborn. That bringing everyone together is long overdue. And that she loves you. Yes. So? What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. Okay. Oh. Already. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right, it's not far from here. Oh? Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but... Death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. Okay. I dislike this. Why? We don't know what it's about. I dislike anything mandatory. You dislike everything. Not true. I tolerate you. Somewhat. Oh, nicest thing you've ever said to me. Hey, you. I'm always wary of impromptu why. team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. An auspicious night, don't you think, Mr. Rogers? Stop calling me that. I can't live up to that name. Hmm. <laughs> you know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. She didn't call this meeting lightly. Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Such a charming location for whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could... What would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. Did she say what it's about? Uh, just that we all had to be here. Hmm. Maybe we're getting fired. No, there's still coffee. <laughs> so? Well, the first sign of layoffs is when they stop replacing the coffee. Yeah. What a waste of my evening. You know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. 
Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. Good thing you're fireproof. Uh, what? Nothing. I have a feeling about the meeting. You think she's announcing a team barbecue? <laughs> Not exactly. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. <laughs> Whatever it is, it can't be good. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. All right. I want to know. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you're hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. Take your time. I will catch up with the others. Thank you. It won't be long. Oh. Even I need a moment to myself occasionally. Run along now. Okay, you've had enough time. All right. I'm ready. We are all ready to hear what you have to say. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the Hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? If anyone should be held responsible, it is me. Agree to disagree, boss. Can't believe I'm saying this, but Tony's right. And that's my new ringtone. Don't ruin the moment. It is true. I have not done enough for any team. If I am the one who brings people together to defeat Lilith, I have already failed. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could have fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? Only if everyone wants me to do it. I can only speak for myself, but you already convinced me. Just like that? It's a heavy responsibility. I wanted to hear you say you're willing to bear it. We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. This is all so new to me. I will rely on every one of you. Help me do the best I can. I will make mistakes. We all will. But the team is here to hold us steady. No matter if we stumble. Mm, Highly inspirational, boss. But let's get down to vibranium tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. Tony, do you believe the world is truly in danger? Of course. And do you believe I can lead the team against this threat? Well, yeah. Then you and the rest of the Avengers need to trust me to do what is best for all of us. Um, 
Not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. There is no future where the Midnight Suns miss the fight. That's all we needed to hear. You need to hear more than that. So does everyone here. Nico, Blade, Ileana, and Robbie may have been here first. But now? We are all the Midnight Suns. When every one of us believes that, we will be ready to face my mother. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So, that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I had no idea this was coming. Kiddo, you have no poker face. For the others to consider you as a leader, your reaction needed to be genuine. Was Steve in on this? No, but he respects you, and I had a feeling he'd speak his mind. If he hadn't suggested you take the reins, it would have been me. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity, and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. <laughs> Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No. You drain faster than bathwater. Well, oh, holy shit. Morning Star. Okay. Um, yes. Oh, I can only pick one. All right, well, I'm getting that. Every meeting should be like this one. Unpleasant? Contentious? No, interesting. And over in five minutes. Ready to fight some crime? Yeah, I guess I can follow you. For now. What are you saying exactly? Kid, don't lose my respect. It's the part of me that won't grow back. Okay. Did you plan this with Caretaker? Nope, it was off the cuff. Impressive to see that in person. What exactly? Captain America, speaking from the heart. I do that all the time. Come on, Steve. You know what he means. If it was here, Autumn would show me. Okay. I did not mean to do that. I don't know if I agree with everything you said. Still, I'm glad you said it. What do you mean? This is the first time I've felt like I'm really part of a team. Not just Peter tagging along. I get it, we're in this together. But it's good to know that's how you see it. What don't you agree with, you though? Know I can't take a compliment greatest weakness good thing the red skull never found out i get what steve sees in you is that a compliment or an insult not with him depends on the week but for you it's all compliment boss <laughs> wouldn't you know it now you're the actual boss and i called it way before steve did i don't know how to feel about this i'm happy for you but I hope it isn't weird when we hang out. Why would it be weird? Huh. Good point. All right. Let's not make it weird. <laughs> There's the Sarah I know. The one who yells at everyone? 
The one who kicks indecision straight in the ass. Up for a drink? More than you know. Common room? In a few minutes. <laughs> Not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? <sighs> Feels good to me. I could have brought popcorn. For the team? No, to watch you turn the abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. I had not predicted this. Really? No, Sarah spoke with me earlier. We have a long history of mutual advisement. What advice did you provide? About time. Which was a mistake. She thought I'd presented her with a temporal riddle, as I do on occasion. Ooh. Don't know about you guys, but that fired me up. Wait, you get excited when people yell at you? No, I mean the hunter taking charge. I'm with Robbie. I thought you wanted to be in charge. I wanted anyone in charge. Organizations and dogs abhor a vacuum. Not Charlie. She gutted one, then rolled around in the dust. <laughs> I've never seen Blade so annoyed. By the way, when's the next Hello, Emo Kids movie is. meeting? Yo, it's good to see you. I didn't come here planning to put you on the spot, but that's how it turned out. You really think I can do this? I know you can do this. And you have a great team ready for you to lead them. So let's get started. Don't know why I didn't see it. You're perfect for this. You did not see me as a leader? It never crossed my mind. Most leaders I've encountered in life have a sort of... Professional ambition, for better or worse. Steve doesn't, but he's also called Captain America. The name alone carries rank and authority. So if I went by Private Hunter... Oh no, don't call yourself that. And I'm not explaining why. <laughs> wow, okay. You certainly know how to speak your mind. You agreed with me. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> but you stepped up, you laid it out. And now you're ready to walk straight into hell. Figure I'll be there when you do. Really? Yeah, you're the obvious target. So I'll slip past why they tear you limb from limb. Don't worry, we'll build you a bigger mausoleum. <laughs> Always the strategist. Still working out the kinks, but we'll get there. They're all divided into their clubs too. I just leave now. Okay. 